Hello, and welcome to A Layman Looks at the Word with Hal Richardson. We're continuing with our story of Christmas, the Bible story. Last week we brought how God had set the universe up like an enormous clock that never is off at all, that it's so precise we can look back at things thousands of years and still see the movement of the planets. But when they happen on special days, like at the time of Christ's birth for the wise men, we see signs in the heaven that has not been reproduced exactly since. So now we'll go back to Judea at the time just before the Magi, the wise men, saw the star on their journey. In the days of Herod the Great in Judea, the priest Zechariah was ministering in the temple offering incense to the Lord. He was a Levite and married to a descendant of Aaron, Elizabeth. They were getting on in years and they had no children. They were both righteous and they kept the commandments of the Lord. Gabriel, one of the archangels of God, appeared to Zechariah by the altar where he was ministering. Starting in Luke 1, 12. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said to the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God. And I am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not able to speak, until the day that these things be performed. Because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. Gabriel was not going to let Zacharias' unbelieving mouth in any way alter what God had proclaimed. So Elizabeth did become pregnant in her old age and hid her condition from her neighbors for five months to avoid questions. But she gave thanks to God for ending her reproach. In Luke 1.26, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came into her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And he shall be great, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. And then said Mary to the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost will come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren, for with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me 
according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Mary accepted the word of God from Gabriel, and that word became flesh in her womb. That's also recorded in John 1.1. 1, 1. Mary then went to visit her aunt Elizabeth, and when she came in and spoke to Elizabeth, the baby John leaped for joy in her womb. Elizabeth then was filled with the Holy Ghost. In Luke 1.42, And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done me great things, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud of the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich has he sent empty away. He hath holpen his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and then returned to her own house. Matthew 1, 18 Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But when he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take to thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. But he knew her not, till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. The angel of the Lord mentioned in this scripture is used in other places in the Bible and in the Old Testament as a representation of the third person of the Godhead, which would be the Divine Son. Luke 2, 1 And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was the governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. 
And there was, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even to Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe, lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered about those things that were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. It's wonderful how God put all this together to bring us His Son, our only Lord and Savior. If you don't know Him today, ask Him into your life, for He is the only way to come to God. This is Hal Richardson. Join me next week. We'll continue with our lesson on Christmas, the Bible story. Bye for now.